Mastering the tides of anger is an important skill. Here's a guide to harmonizing relationships through conflict resolution by Carol Martin Sperry. Anger is an emotion that can prove to be challenging to manage, especially within the context of a relationship. It is often viewed as threatening and destructive, which can lead to its repression, ultimately resulting in internalized depression. Let's explore the different expressions of anger, reflect on its presence in your family, and uncover effective conflict resolution strategies that can strengthen communication and relationships. The basics of anger and its triggers. There are typically two categories of anger expression, which we will liken to natural disasters for the sake of illustration. First is volcanic anger. This type of anger is characterized by an intense eruption, complete with sparks, steam and lava. While the outburst may be intense, it is usually short-lived and followed by a period of dormancy. And then there's seismic anger. This form of anger may seem deceptively calm on the surface, but unseen forces are at play beneath the facade. Without warning, the anger can suddenly crack and split open, resulting in chaos and uncertainty before eventually settling down. Both types of anger can be experienced as overwhelming, frightening, or even something to dread. Volcanic anger can be marked by noise and heat, while seismic anger may result in an inability to trust the stability of the relationship. Take a moment to think about why you're feeling angry. To better understand your own anger, it's helpful to examine how anger was managed in your family. Reflect on the following questions. Was anger expressed or repressed in your family? Was it hot or cold? Did anger manifest as shouting and gesticulating, fights and violence, or days of silence and sulking? Was there a single family member who consistently displayed a bad temper on behalf of others? In trivial arguments, what is the true source of your anger? When you feel constantly angry with your partner, who are you really angry with? Does your partner remind you of someone else? Are you aware of projecting your anger onto others? Does your partner act out your anger on your behalf? The power of questions in conflict resolution. Effective conflict resolution is crucial for navigating anger in relationships. The key lies in open communication, active listening, and ensuring that both partners feel heard. Here are 15 guidelines for fostering healthy communication. Use I and me statements instead of you. Refrain from making assumptions about your partner. Don't speak on behalf of your partner. Avoid using words like should, could, ought, you always, and you never. Ask open-ended questions that go beyond yes or no answers. Take responsibility for your feelings. Focus on the issue at hand. Address present concerns without dredging up past resentments. Transform complaints and criticisms into constructive requests. Check in with your partner's expectations and ensure your own are realistic. Practice assertiveness without aggression. Avoid defensiveness and retaliation. Distinguish feelings from judgments. Know when to apologize and offer forgiveness. Strive for a win-win situation where both parties feel satisfied with the outcome. Final thoughts. It's essential to recognize and accept differences in the way anger is expressed within relationships. Employ the ACT ACT approach. Accept differences, compromise wherever possible, and tolerate what cannot be changed. Transform this into F-A-C-T, fact, by adding forgiveness. By understanding the roots of your anger, enhancing communication, and applying these conflict resolution techniques, you can foster healthier, stronger relationships.